Hey guys, it's Jalen here with i360. Today is April 17th, 2010, and today I have another video for you in the Mac Tip series, and today is wirelessly file sharing between multiple Macs over your network. This works with two or more Macs, depending on how many you have. Um, as you can see to your right, I have my iBook here, and then the iMac for this video. So on your right, you're just going to be seeing the um, my iBook screen. So um, let's get straight into this. So first of all, you should know that as long as you're running OS 10, it doesn't matter what version. Um, my iBook here, as an example, is running Panther, um, Mac OS 10 10.3, and then my iMac, as you can see here, is running uh, Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard, the newest version. So it doesn't matter as long as you're running OS 10 and not OS 9. Uh, which mo most people do have. So, your first thing you want to do is most likely on your main Mac, you want to go to Finder. And as you can see on this side here, you're going to see your second Mac. Um, make sure you have a wireless router. If you don't know this by now, you're going to need a wireless router. Um, Depending on how you're going to do this, you can you can have a wired one if you do have that and just connect both via Ethernet. But um, yeah, and you can just file share through the uh, router if you're using a wired hookup. So let's say I have my iBook connected via the Ethernet port, and then my iMac connected to the router via the Ethernet port, which it is. Um, it does have AirPort, but it's just faster with the wired connection. Um, if you wire them both up to the router, if you don't have a wireless one, it should work that way as well. But, um, you can use one wired and one wireless like I'm doing now, or both wireless. It's up to you. As long as they're both connected to the same network. So as you can see here on the side, um, it says Jalen's iBook G4. So that's what we want. And over here, no, sorry, not over there. Um... Just um, stay on your uh, your second Mac, click on that, and then go to System Preferences, wherever that may be, Apple Sign System Preferences, or it will be in your dock. And then you want to go to Sharing under Internet and Wireless. And you want to make sure that file sharing is checked off. If this is not unlocked, uh, just unlock it by typing your password. And then check off file sharing, because that's what you're going to want right now. This other stuff doesn't really matter. It's up to you, but for this video purpose, you just want file sharing to be checked off. Um, yeah, depending on what kind of, I guess, requirements or limitations you want, you can narrow it down to what subfolders you want. But um, as long as you check off file sharing, you should be fine. But you can't just, um, you know, just block off certain folders and only have access to one folder from other Macs. So as long as file sharing is checked off, you should be fine. So exit that is that. And then after you click on your Mac in the side window here, you can just go over here and click connect as right under the search bar. And it's going to ask you for your max name and password. So I'm going to hit cancel here for this purpose. Um, so let's say you have a, if you have three Macs in your house, uh, let's say you have a MacBook and a PowerBook or something. Um, under here, you would see the name of the person's um, Mac. So here you see the blah blah blah's uh, power book and then under that you would see blah blah blah's macbook let's say you want to connect to their power book in my case it'd be the ibook g4 click on that um you can use the shared folder but you're not going to get very far with that so you want to just hit connect as and then the name you want to make sure it's the exact name as the person's computer so my ibook is not named jalen brown it's named jalen brown's computer My bad. The exact name. So you want to find out what the exact name of the person's computer is. So you just want to 
go to your second Mac and look around. You should know what it is though. And then put in the password for that computer. Not for the Mac that you're on, for the Mac you're trying to connect to. Mine is the same for both of mine, so it, it kind of doesn't matter. And there you go, you have access to the hard drive. And hit users, I'll hit mine. And then there you go, I have all my music, my movies, downloads, all that stuff. On your other Mac here, it's the same process. You want to go to Finder. If you're running um, Panther or maybe even Tiger, you want to click Network. Wait for this to come up. This one takes a little while since it is running. Um, Panther. And then it's gonna come up over here with the second Mac. It has to be uh, it has to be on. To access your Macs, you have to make sure that they're both on. And then you wanna double click your um your other Mac should pop up right there. And then you want to put in the exact name for that one. So in this case, for my iMac, it's not Jalen Brown's computer. It's just Jalen Brown. Again, you want to make sure you have the names right for each one. Put in the password for the other computer. And then it'll ask you which folder that you want to connect to. So I'm going to connect to mine. And then over here, you're going to see something pop up with your name on it. The name of the... um the uh, computer that you're connected to so my name popped up over here my iMac and then I have access to everything on my iMac so now I should mention how to actually transfer files for those who do not know already um, for those who are just a little tech savvy I'm sure you can easily figure it out it's not too hard it is simply drag and drop so once again go into your other Mac's hard drive click users or you can simply just drag it straight into their hard drive but if you want to go to a specific place um, you can go to your desktop um, whatever folder you want I'm going to open up a new finder window here and let's say if I wanted to transfer over something from my photography uh, stuff I have all these images here and let's say I wanted to transfer this photo or this one, it doesn't really matter I could simply go to their pictures and just drag straight over to their Mac and that's all you have to do I can delete stuff from there it'll ask you if you want to do it because it'll be done immediately it won't go to the trash, it'll literally just delete it straight off their hard drive I'm going to hit OK, and let's say I want to put in the new ID360 logo on it. There you go, simple as that. Obviously the larger the file, the longer, the longer it's going to take, like if you're putting a movie on it, it's probably a good 10 minutes since it is, 10 minutes since it, it is wireless, so that's just simple um, dragging and dropping for file sharing. Should probably do it for this tutorial, sorry for the shaky camera footage over here because I don't have a tripod and I had to type with one hand while they uh, hold the camera with the other so yeah not too sure this will be in two parts so I'm just gonna wrap this up now so I wanna say thanks for watching leave your feedback in the comments if you have any questions leave a comment as well um, so yeah guys thanks for watching this Mac tip and um, stay frosty